so today I thought I'd do a spring routine, uh, makeup and skincare and hair care. I got a new fun curling iron. I'm a little intimidated by it because it doesn't have really a, uh, a heat number on it like my other ones. It just says high or low. So it's like high, melt the hair, low, will do anything. But we'll find out with that in a second. This brand is what is a G, GJM or something. I've never heard of it, but I liked the uh, shape of the barrel. So that's why I went with it. So, okay, so quick, I'm going to quickly wash my face off and then I'll get to the other fun stuff. I'm gonna wash with the Geek and Gorgeous Jelly Joker cleanser really quick and then I'll get to the other goodies. So let's see if this thing will follow me. Da -da -da. Okay, there we go. It'll be a quick face wash. Okay, there we go. I'm going to dry off. See if it's still following me. Is it following me or not? Okay, it didn't. Okay, hang on. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Here I am. Okay, crazy. There we go. Okay, so I washed. Now I'm going to do a little bit of toner with the Prepare Cotton Pad. And the Hero Hero Wonder Toner is my current... Uh, go to toner right now. It's almost finished, so I feel like, oh, might as well finish this one off and go with that. So, I'm not a big morning cleanser. I don't go out of my way cleansing in the morning because my skin's typically pretty dry. There we go. Feels nice though. It's that weird time of year where it's too, gets too warm during the daytime to turn your heater on or your furnace, but it's too cold at night to turn the heat on. So it's just kind of like cold all day, you know, in the house or kind of warm or cold. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to go with my vitamin C, which is the Paula's Choice 25% vitamin C and glutathione. And uh, I'm using this one because I'm waiting for uh, my Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow to arrive. They just came out with a new peptide serum, which I also ordered, so I'm very excited. I'm very impatiently awaiting its arrival. So until then, I've been using this one. It's a nice lotion-y serum, but personally, for actual, like, uh, regular daily pur purposes, I prefer ascorbic acid because I find it helps with my hyperpigmentation better than... Uh, other types of vitamin C. So that's just me. Oh, Lincoln's coming in hot. Okay, so anyway, so this one's nice in the meantime, but it's not what I would necessarily pick for forever. You know what I mean? Especially during the summer. I Especially during the summer, I prefer ascorbic acid because I think it does a better job protecting your skin from sun damage. Okay, so for my neck, I'm going with the Stradia Interface. Uh, this one's for my neck. And Lincoln's going crazy. There we go. Yeah, my everything's been so dry. And my allergies have been nuts. And like I wake up and I feel like I almost have a cold, but it's not, it's just allergies. But then when I take like the strong allergy medicines, like the stronger one, like stronger ones, I guess. I don't know what that what I consider stronger, but then they like keep me up all night, so. It's kind of a lose-lose there. Okay, for my moisturizer, I'm going with the Neogen High RX Zone Cream, which is almost finished. I love this stuff, and I will link to everything below. And if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, sign up for it. Okay, here we go. I love this moisturizer. It's like the Proteini, in my opinion. It's similar to the Proteini, except it's it doesn't foam up on my face. Almost any time. I don't know why. 
Every time I apply the protein, it just seems to foam up on my face. I don't know. I'm guessing it's a pH issue, but I, I, anyway. I don't have that problem with this stuff, so. And it feels really nice. There we go. Okay, then sunscreen. I'm having a newfound renaissance using the Beauty of Josen Rice and Probiotics sunscreen. I really did not like it the first times I tried it. However, I went to it again and tried it again a few months ago, and I found that um, it's okay now. I don't know why I hated it at first, but maybe it's had something to do with the weather I, or something. Before, I just found it to be greasy, but now... I find it to be uh, nicely hydrating, but not greasy. So, I, go figure. I don't know. It expires in like a month, so I better hurry up and finish it. That's the other thing. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, to me, this has become, using it now a lot for the last few months, it's become the closest thing to like a sunscreen moisturizer. And, you know, those can be iffy to rely on because... Moisturizer with sunscreen you tend to not apply the moisturizer liberally enough to get the actual advertised protection, but um, anyway, so 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 far I'm enjoying it. I don't know. I have that with a few. I've had that happen with a few products. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my lips off. I'm gonna rinse my hand off of all the sunscreen and stuff so it's not slippery. Sorry, I'm still here. If I don't rinse it off, it'll be all slippery, and then uh, and then I'll drop the curling iron, and then I'll set the house on fire. There we go. Okay, now I brought my little jacket in, because it's kind of like chilly in here now. Oh, hi, Lincoln. Yeah, your little baby. Yep. Lincoln's here. Yeah. Okay, on to the hair. Yeah, Lincoln's still here, everybody. Lincoln. Oh, okay. Nobody can see you because I can't mess up with the camera, but he's here. I promise he's messing with stuff. Oh, here comes Ike. We all have to be in the bathroom at the same time. It's not fun if, unless we're all in here together, right? And I think Ike's starting to get obsessive, compulsive about the, I'm not joking about the water thing. He's got two waters out there and fresh. And then he comes in here like every five minutes for water. Whenever I'm in here, he needs water. And I just gave him water from here like 10 seconds ago before I start recording. This is what takes me forever to get ready. If I'm here by myself, I could be out in and out here in 10 minutes. But no. Now when Ike's running through my water, Lincoln's coming in being cute, or Ike's coming in and laying down, or... Okay, thank you. Ike is the smartest dog ever, though. He does not like when I vacuum the house. And so he goes in the first room I vacuum and lays in there. So then I get in there, then I gotta move him. Then the next, I go to the next bedroom to vacuum, and then he's in there laying down. And then it's like, okay, I gotta, I gotta move you again. And he didn't like that. So then his final play was to lay down on the cord so I couldn't pull a vacuum any further without unplugging it and plugging it in a different outlet. So that's what we did Monday. There we go. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of fun. I don't know. It's curly iron. It's different. I think it would be better if my hair was longer. But I'm going to go with it for now because I'm already invested in the process now. I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to do this. I'm sure somebody that knows will leave a comment and tell me how you, <coughs> how, how I'm supposed, maybe I'm not supposed to twist it. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, I got my lash curler. So usually when I get the big chunk of hair in, I do my first side of eyelashes. Otherwise, the hair styling is just dead time. And I don't like dead time, so I can do two things at once. So I do my first eye. Okay, interesting. Interesting look, I think, we're going to have for today, but I should just stick to my shark because I'm good with that. The shark curling iron I have. Maybe I'll just try this this way. 
care of feeling is the way you're probably supposed to do it. There we go. Now I'm going to do my other eye. Okay, so I read the craziest thing. Uh, Cartier had a, was it a necklace or a ring? Accidentally list on their website for $13. And a person in Mexico saw it, ordered it, because it's like, wow, 13 bucks. And Cartier actually shipped it to them. After I paid $13 for a $13,000 product and then Cartier realized their mistake and asked them to send it back and the comp the family or person in Mexico actually sued them or maybe Cartier sued them first but either way there was a lawsuit between the two and the person won they got to keep the $13,000 product I thought that was fascinating it was a price glitch it was a $13,000 price glitch but how awesome would that be to be able to get a Cartier $13,000 product for 13 bucks. So anyway, so I thought this was interesting. So I, ta I told my the story about it to my dad. I'm like, gosh, can you believe this? this is crazy? So I mean, nothing compared to this, but that later on that day, I, I sleep so weird. I sleep for two hours and I'm awake for two hours and I sleep for two hours. If I go to the gym, I sleep much better. But either way, I'm an insomniac at heart. So later on that night, I was looking for uh, new running shoes, and I like Brooks is a nice brand I like. And I was on their website, and I'm like, oh my gosh, these shoes are all 50 bucks. I'm like, they must be having a really good sale. Maybe it's like the one sale of the year. So I fill up my cart with like three or four sh uh, pairs of shoes. I got some really sharp ones. And so I'm like, oh, I should tell my dad in the morning, because he likes Brooks too, so in the morning, I went to go tell him and then I was going to check out because I want to make sure I was have the colors I want and things like that in there. And then I went and looked and my cart went from $250 to like $1,200. And it was a glitch that they had and I didn't take advantage of it. I don't know if they shipped them out or not. I didn't want to look. There was a Reddit thread about it. Like, hey, is Brooks going out of business or what? And then all these people mentioned, yeah, I put my order, I put my order, I put my... And then I'm like... I didn't have the heart to look back later to see if they cancel all the orders or ship them. Some brands will honor it and ship it, and some brands will not. I remember uh, the Foreo, the little rubber cleansing sponge. They had a deal on their mask product. Uh, what was it? It's like a mask, and then you put like a thing, UFO or something over it. It's like a mask product. I, I don't, I didn't get it, but they had a price glitch where they had it for $10, and I think it's like a $300 product, and they actually shipped it all, shipped them all out to everybody that had the price glitch. So I didn't have the heart later to go look at the Brooks Reddit thread to see if they cancel people's orders or if they shipped them because I was just too sick to my stomach thinking, I just missed out on four awesome pairs of beautiful shoes because I don't know why I didn't check out because I, I thought, well, I'll just confirm the colors in the morning. I didn't want to get a color I didn't want to get. I should have just put the order in and been like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? But eh. there we go. But it was funny that that... that that happened right after the story about Cartier and their price glitch. So I don't know. I don't know if these curls are good, but maybe they'll settle into something better. Or maybe I did it wrong or something like that. So when you see the price glitch at 10 bucks, go for it. I, there was another one on some website. I think it was Alta where they had some ridiculous deal and they went and cancel them all. So, and I think most websites have have some writing in there legally that hey if there's we have the right to cancel any order for any reason at any time but i think the difference with the cartier one was you know what they accidentally shipped it you know had they not shipped it i think that person would have had time hard time suing them to make them give them the product for 13 dollars but once they shipped it i i guess what is it the law possession is nine tenths of the law so once you have the $13,000 necklace, you're golden. So that was my lesson. Just pull the trigger. Who cares? The black, the purple, the pink, it's all going to look good no matter what when it's 50 bucks versus I, some of these shoes are $200. Okay, on to the routine. So I'm going to put makeup on. I still am loving this. Dr. Jar BB cream. When I finish my last two, I have one more left. Uh, I think I'm going to go to the Purito clearing BB cream because that so far has been the closest alternative to this one although I really am enjoying the uh 
Kosas BB Burst. But for summer, I think I like the Dr. Jarrett one a little bit more because it also has sunscreen. So if for some reason, I don't apply it liberally enough in my first step, at least in my foundation step, I'll get a little bit. Okay, and then I've got my dampened Beauty Blender. And this is where the magic happens. All my hyperpigmentation and melasma are mostly covered. Not always, totally covered, but they go a lot away, a lot away, away a lot better. Okay. Normally I do this in my pajamas because then I don't get my clothes all dirty. But I don't want to wear my pajamas on video more than I have to. Okay, wiping that. Okay. Next up, I'm going to put on a little bit of the Hourglass Veil powder. I've been changing up my powders a little bit lately. And I'm using the It Cosmetics. What is it? Foundation brush 210 or something like that. It used to have the number on it. Does it not? Oh, here it is. 211. All over. Okay. I do think that's why I didn't like all that Beauty of Joseon foundation or uh, sunscreens. That was too shiny. But if you set it with a really strong setting powder, it's not as noticeable. Okay, now you notice I got it all over my shirt, and that's why I usually wear pajamas. So now I'm going to take this off and shake it off. Okay. Or I'll just leave it off until I'm done. Okay. Now I've got bronzer. I actually am really liking uh, Allure in their, what was it, March Beauty Box. Sent out Charlotte Tilbury glow bronzer. I actually really like it. It's got kind of a creamy texture to it, which I usually don't like, but I find a little bit of it. And if you blend it out very well, it looks okay. If you don't blend it out, it ends up looking bad. Like some of my early videos, everyone kept asking me why I was, had so much fake tan around, but it was just the lighting was terrible before I really knew what I was doing. So every video I look like a Oompa Loompa. Well, that's not very nice to Oompa Loompas, but yeah, I look like it. And everyone would ask him, like, I didn't put any bronzer on at all. I don't know why I look so tan, but obviously it was the color, the coloring for the lighting on the video. Go figure. Okay. So I got that. Got that. For a little bit of blush, I'm just going to use the Hourglass. A uh, little bit of blush in here. I've been trying to finish this compact for like two years now because I have one other one. And I, they seem to last forever. Uh, I have one other one that I got for the holidays. And I've been trying to finish these, but um, I don't know. I guess I must just not use enough because it's taking forever. Okay, for highlighter, I'm really enjoying the Natasha Denona. What is this called? The High Pastel Glow Highlighter, I guess. I thought it was, I thought it had some fun name, but just Pastel Glow Highlighter. But in the thing, it looks really fun. And then, to blend all of it, I use my $1 e.l.f. brush that's probably 15 years old. But I wash it every time. There we go. Okay. On to the eyes, which, let's see. I got some fun... Um, some fun ColourPop sticks. These are so cool. Cream gel liner, and they're like holographic kind of. I have it in two colors, um, and I just ordered another one, which should be here soon. But it's this one is Movie Star, which is like a multi-chrome pastel uh, orange peach. And then this one is, what is it called? Wild Idea. It's kind of green. So, hi, Lincoln. Bless you. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of this one on, but I'm going to put it on in this mirror. Sorry.
There we go. And then mascara. I'm still loving the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions. I referred my friends to try it and I don't know. I don't think either of them liked it very much. I was shocked because I just love it, love it, love it. I've got two backups of it. Um, but they didn't love it. I don't know why. But there we go. Anyway, I love it. I guess not everybody does, but I thought everyone, once they try it, I thought everyone would love it, but I guess not. There we go. And then at the very last but not least, I've got the Summer Fridays Lip Oil in the shade Pink Cloud. But to be honest, I don't think the shade really matters because it's so sheer once you put it on. It really doesn't give much of a color at all. You know what I mean? There's really no color to it, but, but it gives a nice glossy finish. So there we go. Okay, so I'll show my hair. Let's see if it looks any better. Maybe. Maybe if I do that. Does it look better than when I curled it? I don't think so. But anyway, there we go. That is my morning routine for summer, spring currently. Anyway, interest hearing from you guys. And now I'm going to go if I can link in some treats for being so good while I was filming. Okay, thanks so much. Bye, guys.